we do not have an environment that supports tech uh, financially, uh, um, um, academically, tech does not get support in this country. Most people that are into tech who have succeeded did so on their own. And this is why it seems we are lacking behind when it comes to tech. My name is Okoye Ogochuku. Um, I'm from Anambra State. I'm an engineer by training. I also work in an engineering company. I'm into drone development, uh, um, essentially innovative uh, um, ideas around getting um, drones for either photography, for surveillance or agriculture. The, the, the general idea is to use common items or very handy items or materials to develop uh, crafts that can be used either for surveillance or for agricultural purposes or for geometry uh, surveys, uh, geometrical surveys and so on. My journey and adventure into drones started when I wanted to have something for my, my son to play with. I, I didn't want him to come in into the world. Well, that was before he was born. I didn't want him to come in seeing the normal uh, things other people see. I believe a, a, a background in a disruptive technology goes a long way into molding a, an individual. So I was thinking of making something so that by the time he's of age, he will, you know, maybe when he's a year old or so, he can start playing with it. And this is like five years ago, and since then I've been developing crafts, uh, quadcopters, fixed wing, and so on, depending on what I think it's a uh, it's it, what attracts my attention anyway. Um, over time, I now start seeing the potential, the huge potentials in UAVs, in areas of security, areas of agri um, and uh, geometry. So uh, since then, I have whatever I can do to further my skill, um, support others. I also do a lot of support for young people who are either in schools running projects or people who are just genuinely interested in seeing what can be uh, achieved in this field. As an individual, I'm actually a very happy individual. I have a very challenging and uh, exciting job. Um, I have a wonderful hobby. I have a beautiful family. I have a lovely wife. Um, on, on a lot of areas, I can say I'm a very um, successful and content uh, individual. Of course, of course, there are room for improvement. There are things I want. There are times I'm not happy. Uh, well, looking around at uh, the security situation of the country, I'm quite unhappy. This is why I've been working hard on what I do, to see how we can even um, incorporate these things, uh, unmanned area vehicles, into surveillance systems that can be used to monitor areas, making sure uh, safety on our highways, in our villages can be guaranteed through things that can easily be gotten. Like if you look around my workshop, you see these are normal items, foam items you can easily get from uh, discarded electronic boxes and things like that. So yes, I'm happy, but uh, I could be happier. So as a drone developer, I am not fulfilled. Um, this is because, because uh, there are, is a large uh, gulf, a large gap between where I want to be and where I am. The lack of fulfillment could be traced to me. There are things I still need to learn to do. I need to learn a lot about 3D printing, how to design, automated design and all that. Do that skills I need to acquire. But on the other side, there are a lot of things that are lacking, especially looking at our environment. We do not have an environment that supports tech uh, financially, uh, um, um, academically. Tech does not get support in this country. Most people that are into tech who have succeeded did so on their own. And this is why it seems we are lacking behind when it comes to tech. With respect to the state of security in this country, um, I'll, I'll, I'll give a, a sort of a background. For areas where we have this issue, I'll use maybe Abuja, Kaduna Highway, where you always have attacks, kidnappings and stuff like that. I, I imagine if you can have a small craft running patrols on these areas, 
from time to time. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be expensive. This, what you see around there can do it comfortably. You just have a good camera, have a, a, a sizable battery, and then you run these missions. If you have, say you have two or three, and run missions of say two, two hours or even an hour each, and they, 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 it comes into land while another takes its place, you can have eyes on these roads or whatever areas this, you can have eyes on them 24 hours. And if whoever is planning to attack or, or disrupt the peace knows that we have eyes here, there's no way they're going to attack. These things can also be used for as an early warning system. By the time those guys are mobilizing, they are moving towards their target, you would have known, oh, see, these guys are coming. And then you can, you can send a, 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 a strike team to you know, respond to them. If I were an engineer, uh, maybe I would have become a life coach or a pastor because I am interested in, in I have interest in uh, how people react to situations. Um, I'm interested in people behaving right. So I can be maybe I can be a, a behavioral a, a coach. Um, I, I spend a lot of time trying to guide people. Uh, I spend a lot of time mentoring people. I have a lot of people I mentor.